Hey guys, Amy Shear Title here at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, and we're about to sit in on a press conference with the cast of The Martian. Sebastian Stan, who plays astronaut and flight surgeon Dr. Chris Beck. And we, and we have Mackenzie Davis, who plays Mindy Park, a satellite communications engineer, essentially a flight controller. We have a couple of JSC employees who are, who are sort of their real life counterparts. We have astronaut Mike Hopkins, also known as Hopper. And then we have Pooja Jasrani, who's an ISS flight controller and instructor specializing in motion control and attitude determination. So the focus of the press conference today was the intersection between the film The Martian and what's going on with NASA's Journey to Mars here at Houston. So it was an interesting thing to have Sebastian talk to Mike Hopkins about what it's like to really do an EVA. When they made our astronaut suits, they did not like think about us going on pee breaks. Maybe that's a pretty accurate situation. Another really interesting conversation was between Pooja Yesrani, who is a flight controller for the International Space Station, and Mackenzie Davis, who played a very similar role in The Martian. The two compared notes on what it's like to be part of a mission team, but not actually in space on the mission. There's a lot of support that happens on the ground, and both women have dealt with, in some cases in reality, and in some cases portraying reality, what it's like to help the astronauts off the Earth when you're tethered to the ground. I think just the, the scope of the whole operation is something that I wasn't exposed to before I played my role. I didn't learn anything today that I thought, um, oh my god, if only I'd known that I would have been able to have accessed this certain thing that I, I didn't access in the movie. But I think just seeing the sort of community and the camaraderie and the, the dynamic of every single arm of NASA working together was really illuminating. Yeah, well this is for me this is a little bit of a dream come true because I, I did, um, when I was a kid, I didn't want to be an astronaut at one point and I really did follow the space program much more closely than I have in the last couple of years and actually doing research for this movie um, just going and you know reading about NASA going on the website following the guys on the station um, like even their Instagrams and so on it's gotten me much more involved again again in, in terms of like feeling passionate about uh, just NASA and so like I, I read the articles now and I'm up to date on stuff. That is awesome. That is super cool. We're watching Sebastian Stan and Mackenzie Davis drive around in a prototype Mars rover. And this is not something that we've seen in other rovers before. This is a rover that can actually move sideways and make a small turn on one spot. Usually we're used to seeing rovers like cars, but this is a whole new design. <laughs> yeah, it was like doing donuts on the moon. It was very cool. <laughs> We're looking at a rover that is likely an inspiration for the rover that we saw in the Martian. This is the pressurized habitat vehicle that is actually roving, so astronauts could, like Mark Watney, be in a shirt sleeve suit um, and be roving around the surface of Mars. And like the smaller rover, it doesn't just drive like a car, it, it can move sideways for a really increased mobility. I, I hope that I can be a part of a, a movement that gets people more interested, like kids and just um, gets people excited about the, the idea of going to Mars or just um, investing more in the space program because I think it's an important part of our future we shouldn't ignore. We've just finished another day following some of the cast of The Martian as they tour the Johnson Space Center meeting the real Martians, the people who are developing the technologies that are eventually going to put humans on Mars.